Hey, what's going on? My name is Michael, you're watching IDB, and Apple has just released iOS 17.5 to everybody. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's new in this update. So first up is an all new feature that Apple is calling Repair State for iPhone. And this sort of goes hand in hand with another iPhone feature called Stolen Device Protection. So inside of settings, if you click on Face ID and Passcode, then enter your passcode and scroll down. If you have stolen device protection turned on, whenever you want to shut anything off on your iPhone, such as Find My iPhone, pretty much anything that is a security feature on your iPhone, you will have to wait a one hour time delay. Now, this was sort of impeding Apple repairs because whenever you ship your iPhone into Apple or you're waiting in the Apple store for a repair, you have to shut off Find My iPhone. I have no idea why, but Apple just requires it. And this feature, stolen device protection, was getting a little bit annoying for customers and for people that work at the Apple store because they would have to wait one hour just to get their iPhone repaired because of this time limit. Luckily, in iOS 17.5, there is an all new feature called Repair State where Find My iPhone can still be turned on. However, you can put your iPhone into a special mode that is meant for repairs only. You'll find this feature inside of the Find My application. Now I'm not gonna open it because it's gonna show my location, but essentially if you have stolen device protection turned on and you try to remove your iPhone from Find My, it's going to say you cannot remove your iPhone from Find My. However, you can turn on Repair State, which is a really great new feature and I'm really glad that Apple has addressed this in this update. And the next few features are inside of Apple News. So first up is we have an all new game called Quartiles. So on your homepage, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, it's usually uh, quite a ways down here, you can see we have latest puzzles. If you click on this, you can see that we have a new one here at the bottom called Quartiles. Now essentially, it's uh, gonna walk me through it here. It's going to, uh, you can build words based on little short snippets of letters. So if we click on next, you can see exactly how it works right here. So let's, uh, let's just try to build a word right here. Let's go. Okay, it looks like I'm really bad at this game. But if you think you are good at working with words and letters, uh, definitely try out the Quartiles game in Apple News. And then the next feature inside of Apple News is an offline mode. So here I have shut off all of my internet connections on my iPhone. And if I go into Apple News, you can see it says no internet connection, but it gives me an option to set up an offline mode. If I click on this, I can then go to settings. And then here you can see we have news plus offline mode. You can turn on automatic downloads. And then here in download options, you can choose exactly what it downloads. So by default, it is set to everything, but you can exactly pinpoint what you want the app to download in the background for you. So this is great if you frequent Apple News Plus a lot. Let's say you're about to get on an airplane and then all of a sudden you have no internet, but Apple News has downloaded a bunch of stories for you in the background. This is definitely gonna come in handy. And then the next feature in 17.5 is a pretty small one, but it is a UI change. If you have the podcast widget on your home screen, it is going to change color depending on the artwork associated with that podcast. So you can see here, I have nothing playing and it is the normal podcast application color. But if I click on play, you can see it is now going to change to the color of that uh, podcast I have playing. It can pretty much be any color and it's just gonna take a mix of the background color of whatever artwork is associated to that podcast. And then here, if I go ahead and open up podcasts and then kill it in the background, you can see it then goes back to the normal purple color. And then finally for iOS 17.5, Apple has also introduced a all new pride wallpaper. Apple does this every year and I always love when they do this. I think it looks really cool this year. When you unlock your iPhone, you can see it sort of zooms in and the letters sort of disperse in a, a really cool animation. We also have a few different styles of this pride wallpaper. So if I go onto my lock screen, you can see we have style one, number two, number three, number four, and number five. I honestly think number three and number four are my favorites of these new pride wallpapers, but I'm definitely glad that Apple is recognizing this and uh, let me know in the comments what your favorite version of the pride wallpaper is. And I also should mention that along with this pride wallpaper in 17.5, there also is a new pride watch face in the corresponding watch OS update coming out today as well. 
So here at the end of the video, I just wanna give you a few updates. It doesn't look like we have any sign of the stopwatch coming to the island on the iPhone. This was present for I think one beta cycle, but now it's just completely gone. So whenever you start the stopwatch, you can see it is nowhere to be seen up in the top of my iPhone. And then a few other things I just wanna mention is my iPhone has seemed very buggy lately. So I'm guessing I desperately need iOS 18. I will be the first one to install that first beta of iOS 18, because honestly, I don't think anything can get more buggy than this. Let me know in the comments if you guys have had the really weird square notification bug, but every time I unlock my iPhone, instead of my notifications having nice rounded corners, they are perfect boxes on my lock screen and it just doesn't look good. So let me know in the comments if you guys are getting this issue as well. And then on top of all of this, when I was updating to iOS 17.5 just a few hours ago for this video, I didn't have my case on, but my iPhone got so hot that I couldn't even touch it. So I just don't know what's going on with Apple these days. They're not on their game. It doesn't seem like their software is performing as smoothly as it usually is. So let me know in the comments if you experience that overheating issue as well when updating. So with all that said, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like. Also, let me know what you thought down below. My name is Michael with IDB, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.